Gets it ahead to Cunningham. He dribbles against Dunn. Hesitates. Dunn stays with him. Grabs the ball away from him. He just stole it right from Cade Cunningham. Brings it the other way. Steps into a three. And got it. Ryan Dunn put on a mixtape in a matter of 20 seconds here in a preseason game. I'm going to flip it around. They usually call him 3 and D. How about D and 3? <laughs> exactly. Ryan Dunn. That's what that just was. Welcome to the NBA, my man. 28-22. John Bloom, Tim Kempton on the call. Some highlights from Ryan Dunn, the rookie from Virginia. First-round pick had a nice game in his second preseason game. Suns beat the uh, Detroit Pistons 105-97. Uh, and it was, it, it was, there was a lot of cool stuff going on last night. Mm -hmm. um, the Matt Ishbia return with 3,000 of his employees at the game. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool perk of working for that company, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, the Devin Booker love for, for Michigan State University was well on display with customized shoes. He gifted the shoes to the whole Michigan State team. Meeting the former player that, that he got his first autograph from. Yes, yeah. and, and gave that player's son his first his autograph. autograph on it was his a full circle kind of that, moment that for was Devin a, Booker. That video was fantastic. Yeah, that was really I, cool. Yeah. yeah, that was really, really cool. Cool. Um, Devin Booker hanging out with Tom, and others hanging out with Tom Izzo, um, talking. Tom Izzo relaying how he used to let Devin Booker when he was growing up in Grand Rapids scrimmage with his college team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really, really cool. I totally agree with you. Really, really cool stuff. Um, watching them play with the big Spartan logo at center court, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought it was a pretty cool deal. Yeah, I think it worked out well. And the Suns got a win. They played well. Uh, the Detroit Pistons are going to be an improved team, but that's not saying much. They won 14 games mm -hmm. last year. They fired their head coach. Uh, they've got uh, they got some intriguing veterans and, and youngsters, including Ron Holland. Isn't, Isn't that, that weird? weird? <laughs> <laughs> Had to work at least one mm -hmm. of those. No, in. it's good. It's good. Um one of the th and you you might laugh at me, you might call me a homer, you might call me an idiot. You mm -hmm. might do all of those mm -hmm. things. In watching these two games, especially last night, I don't this team looks pretty connected early on, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, listen, and, and maybe I I'm holding it up against a team that wasn't connected for most of last season and 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 any change, any improvement is that much more refreshing, but you, you know I'm a little salty about this subject, but but I do not apply this to you because you are very sensible, and I think that you that you critically analyze the basketball team as you should as a media member. So so I've got no issues with the way with with your displays of affection and optimism when it comes to the Suns because you're not blinded and you're not trying to fool people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so I I absolve you from all of my saltiness, but I will tell you I'm I'm already breaking out in hives at some of the stuff that I've been hearing from people about this one game in after a game against the Lakers one of the fringe websites who covers the Phoenix Suns declared the connectivity to be a plus and look at how great this is going to mean for the season come on now well, one had... game into a preseason without even a hint of adversity when the results don't matter after what you witnessed last year you're really going to make you're really going to want me to believe that right now after yeah. one game so my observation I didn't see that that article you're talking about oh, there's my, a lot of examples my of observation it. is in a vacuum it's a one game thing mm -hmm. and again i see improvement there can you can you safely apply that to the rest of the season absolutely not. no and, not in any way shape listen, or form and, and i saw this last night and i and again and maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm the oddball when it comes to this and i understand fans vibe on optimism i i'm not saying that i just expect more from broadcasters and media people and people who cover the team and, and for instance ryan dunn has had a couple of good moments he, he, his pull up three point shot last night was was something that you love to see this kid who who knows that his jump shot is iffy who knows that people have said that might keep you from being an NBA player you love the fact that he's got the <laughs> <chutzpah. laughs> to come down and shoot these shots I admire that but when he makes one jump shot and people are suddenly declaring him to be the next great thing I just can't handle it yeah but when see here's how i look at it when you look at what he's been able to show on the defensive side of the floor mm -hmm. which is his calling card mm -hmm. and then shoot with confidence on the other end i i don't think it's insignificant when you even if it's a preseason game to see ryan dunn go three for five from three-point range mm -hmm. this is a guy who made 12 three-pointers in two years at virginia yeah 
let's see him attempt. Let's see uh, when the real games start, everything is going to change in yes. terms of intensity. That is why, thankfully, what is there only how many more preseason games do we have to deal with this? Three. Do I have to deal with this? There's three more? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Thank goodness. <laughs> Again, again, the fans if, if are this, excited. Uh, no, and I'm I'm fine with that. I, the framing of the team is what bothers me. Well, the me, framing of because it, uh, look, uh, this whole market was ready to anoint Monty Williams as a messiah, as the ultimate servant leader. Why right? are you, why are you looking at me? Out, we found <laughs> out he was such a jerk that he blew off Al McCoy for a preseason meeting and left him waiting alone at the facility. Okay. We have never found out what happened to Chris Paul, who played the greatest game of his life in New Orleans, turned 37, and suddenly couldn't play anymore. We never found out what happened to Jay Crowder. We never found out what it meant for DA to quit on this team. And we've never found out what made this team lose all connectivity last year. If that failure wasn't, so, if these failures weren't so fresh, I wouldn't have any skepticism, or I wouldn't want to wait till the games at least mattered. Look, and that's fair, but everybody you just mentioned in terms of lack of chemistry over the last few years or things that went fishy at, at weird times, those parties are gone. And one thing, going back to Ryan Dunn, but you can branch out on the optimism here, mm -hmm. and this is was evident again last night, it wasn't just lip service for a coach to say, we're going to play this way. Yes. We've seen it for two games, 46 three-pointers. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ryan Dunn making three three-pointers in a preseason game doesn't mean much now. Will it change in the regular season? It will. The Like you said, the intensity is going to go up. But what won't change is the mentality, the encouragement, and right. the empowerment that he has to shoot the basketball, and you can't make a shot if you don't shoot it. Listen, and please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm very optimistic about Mike Budenholzer and the effect he's going to have on this basketball team. They shot 46 threes last night, and if they can continue to kind of post that kind of number, then they are really going in the right way, and it also means they're listening to their head coach because they're doing what he's asking of them. Mm -hmm. So there's a mutual trust. All that stuff is very, very encouraging to me. Yes. I, I'm not going to lie. A and for a kid like Ryan and done and 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 uh Igadoro for him for these guys to be be looking as guys who can be players it's exactly what the Suns need they need some homegrown regeneration very yeah. badly so I'm I'm down with that as well there's there have been good things I just I just need a cap and a limit on the saccharin and the syrup in when it's preseason basketball that's it it's preseason would now That's be a, it. would now be a bad time to unveil my son's championship tattoo I got yesterday. <laughs> Depends <Man>. where <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Tyus Jones, thirteen assists, one turnover so yeah. far. We'll, well take that's that ratio. what he does, right? That's what that, he does. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.